All right, for our purposes, whenever we do keyboard harmony, we're going to try, in fact, I'm going to demand, gosh darn it, that we have, when we're using triads, a doubled root, one-third, and one-fifth. So, let's imagine we're playing a C chord, C major, one in the key of C major. That is our root. It's also our bass. This is going to be a root position C major chord. All right, we want a second root, a doubled root. Then we need a third and a fifth. Here's your third. So this works. This is two roots, a third and a fifth. When I do keyboard harmony with you guys, I need to make sure that you're playing it in two plus two voicing. That is, I want to have two notes in the left hand and two notes in the right hand, okay? The reason for this are twofold. First of all, it sort of makes it easier for you to see the piano as a, as a, as a, cor as a choral instrument. That is, we start to see how the piano can be made up of voices. So a soprano and a tenor, alto and a bass. Okay? If you're a pianist, you're used to playing one note in the bass and three notes in the right hand, and it's hard to see, it's oftentimes hard to see the piano as a contrapuntal instrument, but it is. Okay? Another reason for it is that it really helps you separate um, the, the motion of, of the voices from, uh, from moment to moment. Again, it, it makes things a little more tricky for pianists, but it also gets pianists out of their box and helps them to think about the piano more, more um, contrapuntally. All right, back to our initial chord. Two roots, third and a fifth. That's great. Now, how else could we play this? Well, that comes to the question of voicing. Now, a voicing is simply a redistribution of the upper three notes of a triad or of any chord. Now again, it's only the upper three notes. So for example, that is a revoicing or another voicing, okay, of a C major triad. Notice that we still have two roots, a third and a fifth. Okay? What's another one? That's another one. Two roots, third and a fifth. What happens if we take this chord and we decide to move the, the bass? Well, you know what? That's not just a revoicing. Now we're using an inversion, right? Because when you move the bass note, you have now changed inversions of a chord. So for our purposes, we're going to be talking about mostly root position chords. How do you move from one root position chord to another root position chord? I don't care what voicing you use on top. What I care about is that you have the right note in the bass, that you have the root in the bass, and that you have a doubled root, a third and a fifth. I don't care if the distribution is like this, or if it's like this, or if it's like this, as long as you still have two roots, a third and a fifth.